to my channel. It's Lori and I'm so happy to have you here today. Um, I am continuing on with my Dollar Tree huge haul and I'm breaking it down into sections for you. So far I've done my OPI nail polish haul, my LA Colors uh, nail polish haul, the LA Colors eyes, and the uh, lips currently what I have on and uh, there are some awesome uh, liquid mattes and glosses there so I will link the cards there I've done it in sections this time because I had so much stuff that this would have been the longest Dollar Tree haul in literally probably the whole world um, so what I've done now is just gone ahead and separated this section out as well because I really want to talk about these everybody is looking for them and I'm super happy to have found the Dollar Tree organizers yes they are amazing I'm gonna start with my most favorite okay because um, I don't know that's just how I like to do it there are a couple that I missed not because I didn't have them but because they were unboxing and I was on my way to practice and the guy just did not want to open the last two boxes. He's like, I don't know what's in them. And I kept saying, can I, you know, it, he wasn't going to, wasn't going to happen. So I think there's still a couple different um, types that I missed, but I'm hoping maybe they'll get back in. I don't know. But anyway, these are the makeup organizers from the Dollar Tree that everybody is hunting for. And honestly, if I don't get those two, it won't kill me because I got so many of each of these that I'm set for a while. Okay, so... This one is the nine compartment. Um, on here they have nail polish, but I think I'm gonna use these for lipsticks. These are pretty cute. I mean, and this is really sturdy. This one is a really sturdy acrylic. Um, I'm going to put um, my lipsticks in here. Um, so I'm thinking that I could fit at least two or maybe three or four. If I could do four, you know, that's, you know quite a lot of lipstick and I got three of those um, again this is just a basically a six compartment and it is slanted so that you know when you set it out on your vanity you'll be able to see from the top to the bottom so this is my favorite one out of all of them but this is the first one that I grabbed for because <laughs> they were taking them out and they were putting them on the shelf and people were just pulling them right back off and I can understand his you know frustration they obviously knew that these were going to be a big hit because they uh, were just putting them in a way that, you know, I, I don't know, they, they knew they were going to fly off the shelves. I'm sure that they caught wind of um, how popular they are. So, second favorite is this three step organizer, and it's a tiered uh, uh, organizer. So, let's dive into this very sturdy. There's plenty of room down here for whatever, foundations or sponges or whatever. It looks like a couple of lipsticks, a um, couple compartments here, you know, brushes or eyeliners. Again, foundation back here or, you know, whatever. I, I just love that it's tiered. And uh, I think I got three of these. <laughs> I, I've spent a lot of money, but I saved a lot of money because... These are expensive. Uh, the next one that I am kind of interested in to open is this divided square. Now this one has a lid. I haven't opened any, you know, any of these yet, so I want to see um, how this lid situation works. But this one is a four square organizer with a lid. So let's see if we can get into this one. Let's see how the lid situation. Very nice. I mean, this is um, what it looks like from the side. And these are pretty deep inside. I thought that this would be a really good foundation divider, I think, or, you know, even all your different sizes and types of beauty sponges. And then you put the lid on it and it's, you know, sanitary. So that's my general direction I'm headed with this. But you could use this for crafts. You could use this for um, sewing. You could use this for a million things, jewelry, earrings. So I think I got, I want to say three or four of these as well. I ended up with six of these. I actually left the first day with only one. I don't know how that happened, but I guess I just didn't realize that it was a drawer. I went back and grabbed some more of them before they were all gone. I 
can't believe that I have been finding all this stuff. It's like the Dollar Tree is, you know, you go through spills where you can't find anything and then it's just kind of like back to back, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> you know, liquid lipsticks, um, things that are out of shape that don't fit into anything. There's a divot here. So you don't really have to do anything, but I think some people are actually permanently gluing theirs together. I thought I might try like some double stick tape and see if that works. I have the clear two-sided jot tape from the Dollar Tree that I'm going to try first because, you know, I like to have the option of being able to move them around. So we, we will see. It's more like a diamond shape and then it just sits on it. You can put it on the bottom and it'll tuck away in there. I mean, that will hold a lot of foundation, you guys. I just think these are phenomenal. My makeup is going to be in check, let's put it that way. Uh, it, the lid comes off and it's split into threes like this. Um, again, it's very, very sturdy for one buck. Um, can't believe that I found all these. Super excited. Um, yeah. Again, it's got a picture of jewelry on the front or like I said, maybe beauty blenders or you know, maybe your everyday favorites in this one. It does not have a lid, but it is rather, you know, a lot bigger than some of the other ones. Deeper and holds a lot more storage-wise. This one is, it's still very strong, but like the edges, you can actually move a little bit. So, you know, I don't think it's gonna crack or anything, but it's just a solid tray. Um, again, you could use this for foundations, perfumes, Palettes, I think if my palettes fit in here, I'm going to just stack them from back to front and keep all my palettes in one organizer is what I was planning to do. So I don't know if that's going to work out or not, but that's what my plans are for this one. I think I bought a few of these. And then moving on to the open trays, not in plastic, there is this one. Um, roughly the size of this divided into three pretty much um just a single again you could use it for palettes i think it's ideal for it's pretty much the size of blushes all the way from the back to the front uh blushes or bronzers probably depending on how wide they are maybe some of my smaller single shadows um bases and that kind of stuff is what I was thinking for this one. I kind of went crazy on this. I think I got six of these. You know, maybe uh, eyeliners. I don't know. There's just there's just so many uses for that size. Um, then I think I bought three or four of this um, organization tray. It says large. And again, it cracks me up because inside of here, there's a picture of a drawer. It's totally not a drawer. <laughs> But hey, you know what I'm saying, you have to use your imagination. So this is um, the ridges on the side and just a very nice size for, again, if my palettes don't sit sideways in that other one, I'll put my palettes in here or so many different things. You know, those things that just have that shape that doesn't fit into anything else will be perfect for this. And the very last one that I got is the compartments organizer it says it is split into threes and it is really really large um, i'll hold this large tray up next to it and you can see that it's really you know pretty good size um and i like that it's you know not a lid that it's split into threes and i don't know i just this one really called out to me. I don't remember how many I got of these. I think, I think three or four of these. Um, just you know, your everyday favorite blushes, your everyday favorite um, powders, face powders. You know, because they're compact, they're usually a little bit larger. So I was thinking maybe those. Um, again, it does have a picture of jewelry in here. This would be actually really good for your everyday jewelry, or you know, maybe on a nightstand. I'm thinking about using this for. A nightstand for nightly meds and maybe some lotions and maybe um, earplugs you know like eye wraps or whatever um, there's a ton of different uses for this 
you know, like I said, crafters, this would be great. A ton of different options. And I'm super excited because literally, I don't know what I spent, maybe 30, I don't know, 30s probably. But the money that I saved, because I was in the hunt and the market for these anyway, like had these not been at the Dollar Tree, I was going to purchase something like this on uh, Amazon or different places anyway because I'm still in the process of getting my beauty room together um, so I needed this and I, I love that it's clear because I don't care what kind of storage you buy if you can't see through it and see what you have and what you're getting to you're not going to use it and then it's just going to sit in there and then you know a year later you're going to be like oh my gosh I forgot all about this and stuff goes bad that way so I really love that they're all clear, that you can see all the way to the bottom, you know exactly where everything is, and you can, you know, when you open your drawers, you see it, and you're like, oh, I need to remember to use that, and nothing goes to waste. That's really, that's really what I'm about. So when I get my drawers in, um, and I do have some that I'm looking at, so when I get those in, I'm going to go ahead and have everything sectioned out and be able to just slide it right in the drawers and be done. So this was an amazing find for me, and I do highly recommend any of these. I mean, I think there was a couple more styles that, like I said, um, the guy just did not want to let me get into those boxes. So I think, you know, even though there's a couple more variations, basically, this is the idea of these organizers so that you can see if you want to try to hunt these out or not. I do wish you the best of luck if you do, because I know that everybody's after them. Um, I am curious to know if you guys think that they are going to become a staple though because um, everything that I see here is Home Essentials but it's labeled Green Briar. What do you guys think? you think this is something that Dollar Tree is going to carry? I don't know. Let me know what you think down in the comments because if they do this would sure be a um, constant repurchase. Uh, for me and probably and many others of you um, As my collection grows I will just you know continue to add these kind of things um, I am quite a lover of organization and I Just am obsessed with these kinds of things in my life Like I just feel like I can never have too many even though that's not true uh, but again, like I said, I do have a ton of others and them being clear is really key to being able to utilize everything that you have. Did you guys find these? Let me know where. I'm in uh, Arizona. Let me know where you guys found them because I know a lot of people are asking me uh, where I found them. A lot of places these have not hit yet and a lot of places are just getting them. So if you haven't seen these yet, just be uh, on the hunt. Keep your eyes open. I know that they're popping up in different areas of the store as well. Mine were actually in with the, um, I believe straight down the beauty and makeup aisle, but further down towards the back of the store across from like the medicines and that kind of thing. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for these. Guys, you can't really go wrong with any of them. Not at all. I mean, some of them you might need more of than others, but really if you see them, this is a total go for me. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful to you. I know a lot of people were asking for individual shots. So I hope that this helps you in narrowing down which ones you want so that you can just go in there and if you see it, be able to pop it in your cart because these are not going to last very long if they are not going to become a staple. All right, guys. Um, thanks for watching my whole Dollar Tree haul in its sections. Um, again, I'm going to link each one of those in a card so that you can go back and check on the nail polishes, the eye makeup, the lips, the everything that I posted. Um, this was a huge, huge Dollar Tree month for me and I am very fortunate that I've been able to find all of these great things. So I will talk to you guys really soon and again thank you for watching. If you're new to my channel I would love to have you so please hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed to my channel already. And until my next video, I will see you guys very soon. God bless you and take care. Bye-bye.